hello friends in today's video i will be showing you how you can make these uh, palm trees using wire here's an example that i made uh, before and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial let's get to it all right well let's start by showing materials and tools first of all here i have a uh, 18 gauge aluminum wire in brown color and I'm going to be using a 22 gauge aluminum wire on green to make the leaves of our palm tree. If you do not have two different colors of wire, you can uh, use just one color, but it's important to have a thicker wire like this 18 gauge and a smaller or a thinner wire like this 22 gauge. Thinner wire is better to uh, make the leaves of our uh, palm tree. So let's get uh, to see the materials and tools now. I got my favorite uh, just needle nose pliers. Um, of course, uh, wire cutters. Just a, uh, a tape measure. And these are optional, some beads. Do, if you don't have them, don't worry about it. But if you have some, that's great. And here I'm going to show you what I used to make um, the leaves of my palm tree. These tools, you are not going to find them anywhere, uh, especially for wire wrapping or anything like that. I had to just make it myself. This uh, smaller one here was a spatula, a lab spatula that I had. And I just cut out the handle. And this one here, this was a pair of tweezers that I had on my tools. And I cut out one side of it to make it into a mold for my uh, for my work. So don't try to find anything like this on Amazon or anything. If you have anything around your house that you can use that is flat and is metal and is uh, and is uh, about the size of this, you can use it. So you're just gonna have to use your imagination and see if you can find something like this to make the leaves um other than that um I, I wish i knew where you can find anything specially made for this but i don't uh, you could order some spatulas from amazon and uh, cut out the, the the handle or something but i mean other than that that's that's all i can say okay let's get to the length of the material this is the 22 gauge aluminum wire and i'm gonna be using a uh, three foot long uh, pieces of it and so if we're gonna make um, let's say a palm tree with six or seven leaves you're gonna need two pieces of this three foot long wire for each leaf so if you're going to make a palm tree with seven leaves you're gonna need 14 of these three foot long pieces of wire um, so here in a minute, I'm going to be cutting them and I'm going to skip the video once I have them all together so we can save some time, but um, three feet long is a good size. Okay, so here I have my uh, my wire. I have 14 pieces in total because I'm going to make my palm tree with seven leaves, but you can make it with like five or six if you want. All right, now I will take my tool and all I'm going to do now is start wrapping my 22 gauge wire around it like this uh, this is going to be the the process where we're going to start building the the leaves for our palm tree just go soft on it don't put a lot of tension because if you put a lot of tension on it uh, it's going to be kind of hard to pull it out of the of this uh, mold so if if you put pressure on it don't put too much on it so it's easier for you to uh to pull it out we're gonna keep wrapping it until we run out just like this and this is what it's supposed to look like just try to make it as even as you can but don't put too much pressure like i said there you go here so we're gonna make uh, 14 of these uh, as you can see, it's a little hard to pull it out. So if you uh, have your pliers, just kind of squeeze it a little bit gently, not too hard, and that'll make it easier to come out. And I'll give you another tip for you to be able to not get this stuck on your mold in a minute. 
So here's what it looks like. This little roll of wire is flat. And we're going to uh, make all our wires into something like this. One thing I want to mention, if you find a uh, a piece of metal like this one and it's a little thicker then you might want to cut longer pieces of wire because the thicker your uh, blade is or your piece of metal the shorter your leaf is going to come out if you're only using three feet so if you have something that's uh, a little wider maybe use four feet instead of three and if your blade it's a little uh, thinner um, just uh, maybe use a little less wire if that makes sense so it depends on the size of your mold the size of your wire i'm using the three feet which is good for this size of of mold does that make sense okay now i'm going to give you another tip so you don't have a hard time pulling the wire out because that's something that i struggle with sometimes but i figured this this will work so all you need to do is when you're wrapping your wire wrap it a little bit apart from each other just like this don't wrap them too close together and just push them together once you get to the edge and this will allow you to be able to get this wire out of the of this piece of metal easier once you get done so just wrap it around it a little bit apart from each other until you run out and this will help you to get this wire out of it easier. It can be frustrating sometimes if you can't get it out. There you go. So once you get it done, just pull it out and it comes out really easy. Like that. Okay, so I got my um, all the green wires um, wrapped and done. Now I'm just going to put it aside for now. So I'm going to take my 18 gauge wire and I'm going to cut um, about seven pieces of a foot long. Uh, this is going to help us continue building our leaves for our palm tree. Okay, I got the seven pieces here. They're about a foot long. It's better to have extra than not to have enough. So a foot long sounds good. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building my uh, my leaves and this is going to help us just check it out. So the first thing you need to do is take your uh, your rolls of wire and kind of gently pull them apart. Don't put too much pressure on it because they are really soft so if you pull apart too hard you might have to like start all over so just carefully stretch them out make sure that they are not too much too far apart just like that we're gonna take another one we're gonna do the same thing just stretch them out a little bit not too much there you go something like that okay once we get this done we're going to kind of stagger them together making sure that each point of the wire goes into the other one just like this kind of stagger together making sure that you don't have two of them on on one or that you're missing any this is kind of the most tedious part of making this palm tree but just take your time and be patient there we are trying to get them to combine together making sure they're staggered on each gap there you go see this one's a little too much uh, to separate so i'm gonna push it in a little bit just like that and once you get them close together you can take you can push them in a little bit so they don't come off once you get that done you're gonna grab one of your brown wires and we're gonna um, make the wire go through the middle so i'm gonna take my wire making sure that the that is you know as straight as possible so we don't have a hard time making it go through and just gently push it through 
there you go you can push the leaves together so it there's a little more gap inside so you can push the brown wire in there you go it almost went through there okay okay once we get that done just we're going to straighten it up a little bit we're going to separate them as much as we can now that we have the wire in they won't come apart and then we just push them together like this and we're going to use our little nose pliers to make a small hook at the end this will prevent the wire from uh from sliding out and i'm just going to squeeze the wire together sorry if you can't see it right now but all i'm doing is just squeezing the wire together and maybe wrap it around the green wire so it doesn't come out i'll show you what it looks like just give me a minute there you go you see it's just a little hook that it prevented from leaving or from sliding out here i'm just pushing the leaf together again making sure that it looks flat and nice and this wire on the other side i'm just gonna cut it off we don't need that and this is what it's supposed to look like there you go Let's make sure that it's straight and we're gonna continue with the process okay now i'm going to take my pliers and just make a an angle bend here that will prevent the wire from slipping out we don't want the wire to come out of it like that there you go and that's what it's supposed to look like now with my fingers or my nails i'm going to push these two wires together on this is going to be the tip of our leaf making sure that you pull them apart as much as you can now if you if you don't pull them apart it's going to be hard to make so you pull them apart and use your fingertips to bend these each one individual point you will kind of push it down you can do two at a time but i like to do it one at a time because it looks it looks much better like i'm doing two at a time but it's just a little harder so i like to take my time and do it one at a time just like that once you get this side done you just continue on the other side don't don't let these leaves like push together pull them apart as much as you can like that so i'm gonna continue pushing down these points to make our leaf look much more realistic and like i said this is the longest part of doing this palm tree but once you get that done everything else is super easy so now i'm going to go on the other side and i'm just going to do exactly the same thing just one by one pulling them down if you want to practice this maybe you want to make a smaller palm tree with like five leaves instead of seven uh they look really nice with five then they you don't really need to do seven but that's that's just something i wanted to do i wanted to make it seven but if you want to start and maybe just add five leaves instead of seven that'll make it shorter for you and they they are they look nice with five all right i'm almost done on this part and all i'm gonna do is kind of make sure that it looks straight and it doesn't look crazy on the sides kind of comb it with my fingers just push down on it and here we have one leaf done guys there you go we just want to make sure that it looks flat and cool now i'm going to be making the rest of them and i will fast forward the video so we save some time uh so i'll come back once i got most of them done or all of them done actually but yeah this is what it's supposed to look like there you go oh um i'm gonna give you a small tip before i go make sure that your rolls look flat 
before you start staggering them together like this one you see it looks a little twisted uh just use your your fingers and gently uh flatten them that'll help you make this faster so okay i have all the leaves finished here they are and now we're going to move on to the process of building the rest of our palm tree so now i'm going to need a few more wires uh, to make the trunk of our palm tree a little thicker uh, it's too thin for my taste so i'm going to add seven more strands so i'm just going to measure the length from here to the bottom and i'm going to make another seven wires about the same size so here they are whatever the length of your wires are that's what you're going to cut them so i'm going to put them together with this leaves and here soon i'm going to start wrapping them to build the trunk of our palm tree i'm just going to integrate them with the rest of them and we're going to start wrapping them with more brown wire so here i take my brown wire and i'm going to start wrapping it this is a very simple step it's just uh, uh wrapping wrapping them all together and you see my leaves are about the same level here but these other uh, these other wires are sticking out that's that's important we're going to leave them sticking out a little bit because we might use uh, that later for now i'm just going to finish wrapping this trunk and i will come back once i get it all done to save some time okay so here's what it looks like now it looks all nice and straight I'm going to leave this um, this part of the wire alone for now because we're going to use it later. And these tips over here, we're going to add coconuts for our palm tree. This is an optional step, so if you don't want to, you can just skip it and just chop them off. But here we have a, a few beads. This is why I said this is this was an optional step, but I'm going to add some beads to mimic some of the coconuts. These are just regular plastic beads if you have any beads uh that you can use that's fine if you don't you don't worry about it i definitely like it better with these coconut thingies and i'm going to just chop off part of the part of this wire and make a bend and like and like a round bend here just to prevent the the bead from slipping out and i'm going to add more of this maybe four more or five here i have all my coconuts put in place and i have a couple of extra wires that i'm not going to need so i'm just going to get rid of them be careful that i don't cut another wire that i'm not supposed to and there you go now i'm just going to pull them down i'm gonna open a couple of the leaves separate them so i can put the coconuts down there we go and then we're just going to shape up our palm like this all right i'm just going to fold or bend the leaves down to make it look like a real palm tree just like that and there you go guys i think it's looking very nice now the rest of the wires at the bottom uh, i'm going to use them later to put them inside pots just like what you see here i put rocks inside of it and then i just put a little bit of moss on top of it to make it look nice if you want you can make a couple of them and put them together in a pot they look really really cute so this is it guys this is how you make a palm tree out of wire and if you like this video please give it a like uh subscribe to my channel and uh share this video also you can uh, find me on my other social media outlets like instagram facebook and tiktok as angels wire art and if you have any comments or questions uh, please feel free to leave it in the comments and i'll get back to them when i can for today i think that's pretty much it and uh, appreciate everybody coming back to see my videos and all your support okay well, um, this is it for today. It was a pleasure to do this. I really like this this small project. And if you did, please, like I said, give it a like and give me a follow and subscribe. 
I will see you guys next time. Thank you.